Hi everybody, Rusty Keeler here in my backyard. You're in my backyard too. Welcome. Glad you're here. Hey, um, through all this coronavirus stuff and everybody at home, I'm getting lots of questions about like, what can we do with our backyard? How do we get our kids outside more? How do we get them more engaged? How do we uh, have fun things to do outside? Well, I thought it'd be fun to show you some of the stuff that we do. Some, some of the things that we have uh, going on out here, projects, garden projects and play projects and uh, see some real life play by real life kids in our backyard. Real life kids. Oh, there's one now. Who are you? My son, JJ. Uh, and you should see what he does on that tire swing. Oh yeah, you'll see. Oh, I don't know, can you see now? Woo! Oh yeah. Calls that airboarding. But anyway, um, got fun stuff to show you. Uh, I'll give you a little tour of the yard. We'll start off with that. Uh, and then see what else we have for, in store for you. Yeah, all right. Welcome to the backyard. Hope it gives you some ideas for your backyard. Any words of wisdom? Final? Have fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it's about. This is the farm end of the yard. The main play area is kind of back in there. This is our back door. So on the deck, we have a little slide that comes down. And then this is where our garden beds are. So there's a long garden bed here that we'll be able to do some planting. I think we put some peas in there already. This is this vertical and horizontal little greenhouse that I use for kale in the winter that winterizes things. And then other things in the summer, it gets pretty wild. But now I'm using it for seedlings. So there's like, I have kale in there and uh, lettuce and um, bok choy. Okay, so moving on. But then the one neat thing about this is that <clears throat> I have it. So it's also a little greenhouse. So there it soaks in the sun and then things can grow bigger uh, because they're warmer. Okay, slide off our deck. So there's the door our house a little deck just took out some and just added this slide over a rain barrel our grilling area just planted a peach tree right there As you'll see this this is a small yard but I'm trying to put fruit trees and things in there's our grill so let me just turn around and see where we were so there that's our little teeny right this is teeny but little little farmy area. Uh, other fruit trees. So I'm always sticking fruit trees in and plantings and stuff. So right here, right next to the house, is a cherry tree. And that will have bl beautiful blossoms. It's on its way, you know? So blossoms, and of course it has beautiful cherries, right? Yeah, so then this is kind of the the multi-use play space. I'll go up top here on the deck. We can look at it. So, you know, in the spirit of adventure playgrounds, it's just like a little junk, messy playground. And the next time I can, maybe I can show some pictures of my sons in here. <clears throat> but we had, you know, the hole digging challenge. For some reason, we started digging a hole right in the middle, like right in our walkway. Like there's our gate. And here are our steps, and it just happened to be right in our, you know. But there's a bridge, so you can just go over the little bridge there. Um, yeah, a picnic table, so it gets used for multi things, you know. We do have, sn they snack, we do do art, we have dinner on there. They do stand on top of it. But here you can see our, how the cherry tree is going to, it's right here, going to grow up over us. Then we have a little bit of grass. Look at that little bit of grass. Apple trees, bulbs coming up. Apple tree here, 
that will want to grow up. Got another apple tree, a little teeny one here that'll grow up and maybe do an archway, apple archway over top. There's our like play hut, house, fort, um, like a mud kitchen area over here. My sons don't really use this, but they say for all their neighborhood friends, they, they know that those kids like that. So <clears throat> they said, keep it. I just, I just had a conversation. We have a lilac in the back. So, you know, here we are, we're up in the north, but look, it's starting to, that's always a nice sign here. It's not all brown. Then we got our, yeah. You should see what the boys do on this. All sorts of stuff to show you, but this is the, just a quick tour. Underneath, hammock. How great is that? Then we have a nice corner back here. I'm gonna do a bigger like chalkboard, but we're just trying it out here. Get some chalkboard paint. There's a tire because there's a, a, secret, a secret way up. The back door right there, you can get in. Climbing wall holds. You know, other stumps, ways to get in. And that, people, is the five minute tour. All right, you wanna see more sometime? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't say it was, it'd be pretty, uh, but kind of fun. And we have all sorts of all sorts of stuff going on that I'll show you. I can show you uh, in more detail later. Um, hey, speaking of details, you want to see some playground design details, or at least some concepts? Uh, take a look at this drawing. Here's a fun little project I did for some friends in Spain a little while ago. I thought this would be a fun one to start with because it's kind of a simple design and a small design and a small budget design. Um, made to do in small phases over time with local inexpensive materials and volunteer labor. So let's have a look. So we'll start here in the beginning, kind of to the left there, that's the entrance way, like a stepping stone, welcome mat. Mural and concrete wall behind, and a log bench down in front here. Some plantings behind it. Always sticking in plantings. Moving on, there's a sand pit down below and a climbing wall in the back. Simple, you just bolt on climbing wall holds onto a concrete wall. That's so perfect. And then you just put down some soft wood chips. It's like a fall zone. The sand pit, nice big sand pit. One of the great things about that is when you dig up all that dirt to go down for a nice deep sand pit, you have all this dirt and you can build a hill. So then here's a nice hill slide on a hill and some corner little nooks to get inside of with plantings and benches. More stepping stones and sunflowers and tree cookie stepping stones that go up and over the hill. Some fun stuff. Well, a fun way to close out the show um, would be to see some real play in the backyard. So, here's a segment I call Two Minutes of Play. And this would be Levi, my son Levi and JJ, uh, mixing it up in the backyard. <laughs> Oh, the suit's great, though. I know. It looks so cool when you're airboarding. I'm, like, probably the only one that actually knows how to put the, the suit on the right <laughs> You know, you probably are. <laughs> I can't figure it out. It's supposed to be how I was just using it. It has a cape and a bodysuit. I know. What are you filming right now, Dad? 
just practicing like different angles and stuff. You, you. I just did it, Dad. What? What? I do some balls. And he can do touch. Thanks for watching and thanks for joining us and thanks for thinking about play and kids and how to make the world a better place. So uh, I'm with you. Let's let's team up. Let's let's take things to the next level. Let's in time of change. Let's let's change things for the better. Do everything we can to do that. So I'm with you. Let's let's team up. Let's do it. Hey, we are doing it. It's happening. All right. See ya. Come back to my backyard.